answered and for you guys to get to know me a little bit better and I asked you guys to comment on one of my Instagram photos I asked you guys on this one to leave me questions in the comments section and you guys did so thank you for that and I will be answering some of these right now first question is do you like Starbucks if so what's your favorite drink I do like Starbucks um, I do like their pastries more than I do their drinks I'm not very adventurous when it comes to trying new things so the only drink that I get at Starbucks is the iced vanilla latte and I like to put the raw sugar packets in it because I like crunching on the sugar which is really bad for you but yeah that's what I like and I always get that whenever I go to Starbucks when did you start wearing makeup so I first started wearing makeup I think like playing around with it maybe like in eighth grade me and my friends would just play around with it and granted it wasn't like our makeup didn't turn out great at all but yeah we started playing around with it then and then I think I started wearing makeup like for real wearing makeup once I got into my sophomore year in high school so, what is your favorite ride at Disneyland and I think my favorite ride at Disneyland is either well this is actually not on the Disney okay I'll stick on the Disneyland side um, my favorite ride at Disneyland is probably either Space Mountain or Indiana Jones. I used to hate Indiana Jones, but I just recently started really liking it and I just think it's really, really fun. How did you and your boyfriend meet? Well, we actually met my freshman year in college and we met at the school gym at the basketball courts. I just remember always seeing him, because um, we both lived in the dorms our first year, so I'd always see him like walking back and forth, I always thought he was cute, whatever. And um, we finally talked for the first time at the basketball court, so that's where I like to kind of say that we met, because that's the first time we ever like introduced ourselves to each other. And I just think it's so nice that we met there, because basketball is like a huge part of our life now, and it's a hobby that we both share, so yeah. Hey, it's Allison asks, what's your favorite show? Who's your OTP? I love you, and you're so gorgeous, by the way. So I love you too, Allison, and thank you so much. Uh, my favorite show right now is probably Arrow, and you guys can watch that on Netflix if you guys are into action films. It's a really, really good show. It keeps you interested, keeps you on your toes, and yeah, basically it's just a perfect show overall. And my other favorite show is actually The Bachelor right now. It just started, and some people, yes, think it's stupid, but I think it's... It's an interesting show to watch. My OTP, coincidentally, is Sean and Catherine from The Bachelor, and they met on The Bachelor, Catherine won, and they got married, and oh, they are goals. They're the cutest couple ever, and I admire their relationship so much, because they are just perfection. Daisy asks, by the way, I know you, and you and your boyfriend are adorable. Um, who is your favorite YouTuber? Also, I think you're beyond gorgeous and so down to earth. I love your channel and I hope to meet you one day. So, I obviously hope to meet you too because I think you are so sweet. At the moment, I have a couple of favorite YouTubers, but I think the one that I really, really like and someone that I really kind of connect with over, like, through the internet without, like, knowing her is Whaley. And I think she, if you, if you guys don't know her, I'll definitely link her down below. Um, I think she's just a very down-to-earth person just by watching her videos. I have not yet met her yet, so I have not yet met her yet. I haven't met her yet, so I'm hoping to meet her one day. The content that she puts out is incredible. She just brings something different to the, like, beauty YouTube community. She's very creative and she likes to do her own thing and I really admire that about her. It's Vanessa asked me any recommendations for new YouTubers. I personally don't know any new YouTubers, but if you guys do know any new YouTubers, then leave them down in the comment section below. I'd love to check them out. If you have a YouTube, definitely let me know down below and I will also check that out. So yeah, I'll kind of turn that question around to you guys and just answer in the comment section. Next question is, will you be doing the boyfriend tag? And yes, I hope so. I know I've been saying that it's coming out soon. Go to his Instagram, I'll leave it down below, and spam his Instagram and let him know to do the boyfriend tag with me because he, he, he said he would do it, but he just, I don't know, he's lagging. So I do want to get that up for you guys soon. And yeah, if you guys are interested in that, let me know too. Tina Fan asked me, what is your ethnicity? My ethnicity, I am half Chinese and half Japanese. How tall are you? I am actually 5'4", and that is actually decently tall for an Asian girl, so I can't really complain, but yes, I am 5'4". So Lauren asked me, what are your goals for 2005? I have 
a couple of goals. Number one is to stop procrastinating. I am a huge procrastinator. I still haven't finished. I've been in this apartment for a really long time and I still haven't finished decorating anything so definitely stop procrastinating and just doing more with my day, trying to get more things done. Number two is to go to the gym more often and I know that I told myself this before but I'm actually really 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 serious about this right now. I've been going for a little while and my boyfriend has been a very good motivator for me to go to the gym so yeah I think those are my two goals and number three is to spend more time with my friends and family I am a homebody like nobody's business I it takes me a lot to get out of the house so I think another goal for me this year is to kinda get out more and just do more things that are outside of my apartment yeah so that's another one of my goals to get out of the house more Okay, so Iris, I think, asked me, do you study, if you do, which one? I think you mean, like, which subject? So, I do study at um, Cal State Fullerton right now. I am going to be going into my last semester here, and, yeah, I am studying to get a bachelor's degree in child development. Yeah, thank you for that question. I really like that one, because I feel like people don't know about, like, my school life, so... Definitely like to share that with you guys. What are your thoughts on Sriracha? I like Sriracha, and... I don't like too much of it because it's really spicy, but sriracha on pad thai is bomb. So. Okay, so Paulina Rose actually has three questions for me. So the first one is, how did you start doing videos? I started doing videos because I had a Tumblr before, or I still do actually, but I don't use it as much. I had a Tumblr and people always asked me how I did my hair, so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna post a video on YouTube and let everyone know how I do it instead of like explaining it over the keyboard I was like I'm gonna just show a video and so they can see like exactly what I'm doing posted that that got big and I just kinda went from there I just kept keeping up with my channel and how school going it's going great um, I'm actually graduating in the spring and last question is did you feel self-conscious when you started doing these videos like as if someone will say something actually you know what when I first started doing videos I honestly like didn't even think about what anyone would say I guess I just went through a lot in high school and I kind of just realized like no matter what people are gonna say stuff about you and you kind of just have to look past that and just do what you think like just do what makes you happy and that's something that actually made me happy so I didn't really think about it I think more now more so now like I get nervous when because a lot of the people that I know now know that I do YouTube and that wasn't the case before because I never talk about it, and I still don't I don't go up to someone and I'm like oh hey I do YouTube like no I usually don't do that unless it's like for a question in class and they're like oh tell me something interesting about yourself I don't know but now people will find out because people talk and a lot of the people that I personally know know that I have a YouTube and I do get nervous when they talk about it but um not so much self-conscious more of just like oh that's kind of weird that they know but Sophie asks what is your biggest fear and my biggest fear is literally like dying. That's one of my biggest fears. I don't know if that's like scary or not to you guys, but yeah, death is one of my biggest fears. So Jen K asks, what are your thoughts on marriage? And I love you by the way. So I love you too, Jen. And I think I have my own opinion on marriage as everyone else does. I think that marriage is a wonderful thing. It's something that happens between two people that absolutely love each other. I do believe though that marriage shouldn't change anything. I feel like if you're boyfriend and girlfriend for a really long time and you guys love each other, you guys might know that you guys want to be together for the rest of your life and marriage doesn't change anything except for what's on paper. And I think it's a beautiful thing. What can I say? Okay, I'm going to end off with this question. I think it's really, really interesting. Would you rather win the lottery or find the perfect job for you? I think that's a great question. I honestly would rather find the perfect job for me. I feel like living, like getting, or sorry, what am I trying to say? Winning the lottery, you'll have a lot of money and you might not even have to work, but then I'll feel like, what am I gonna like do with myself? Like, what am I, like, what is my purpose? So, granted, you can win the lottery and still work, but who knows if that's gonna be like the perfect job for you if you'll find the perfect job. So, I would definitely choose the perfect job because the perfect job is technically not really a job, it's more of waking up and doing something that you love. So if I could do that for the rest of my life, I would be very, very happy. So I'm going to end this video right here. 
And thank you everyone for asking me questions. I got a ton of questions that I wanted to answer, but I can only get to so many of them. I will definitely do another one of these if you guys like them. So yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any requests or any more questions for me, leave them down in the comment section below. I will fulfill your requests and I will answer all of your questions. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!